Hello everybody, this is Gaming News with Parmesan Episode 2. This is basically a series where I cover the latest gaming news, share it with you guys, and I'm planning on having a new gaming news video every two weeks. So that means there's not going to be even gaming news or video next week, but the following week there is. And it's going to be every Monday. So just keep a lookout for that if you guys are interested in the series. And with that being said, let's go to Minecraft. On the 27th, Wednesday this week, there will be an update for the end. You get to slay the Ender Dragon, have fun with your friends. It's going to add a bunch of new stuff. I'll add the um, changelog down below and you, can, you get to look through that. It's going to be a blast. I'm going to play day one. If my Elgato decides to record my screen this time, I'll have a video for you guys. I'm going to be playing with my friends, Mike, Frank, and Stealthy Nick. I'll link Stealthy Nick below. He makes really good videos. Check him out. And that's all I got for Minecraft. Let's go to Halo 4. Halo 4 is going to have a free DLC April 11th, shortly after the Castle Map Pack, which I mentioned in the video below. I'll link that as well. But it's going to be Forge World, but it's called Forge Island. Three different islands. It's supposed to be bigger than Forge World from Reach. It's going to include a lot of stuff. I'm definitely excited for that. I might get into Forge again. That's all I got for Halo, though. And let's go on to Terraria. Everybody seems to like Terraria. And it's kind of ironic, they're almost the same, it's almost the same as Minecraft, but a platformer. That too is coming out Wednesday this week. And for all you Terraria fans, get it day one. I'm not going to get it, I didn't like it, that's just me. Bunch of people like it. And that is coming out Wednesday for you guys. Battlefield 4 released two teaser trailers of a teaser trailer. One's sea, one's land. I'll link those two below. That too... The actual reveal trailer of Battlefield 4 is coming out Wednesday as well. Everything is coming out Wednesday for some reason. I have no idea why. But who knows? I don't know. But check those out. Check all of those out. I'll link them all down below. And the next thing I want to talk about is Gears of War Judgment. It's going to have DLC April 2nd. It's going to be free. You get a new map called Haven. New game type called Execution. In execution, the only way you can eliminate enemies is by doing an execution move on them. You put them in down but not out mo uh, mode. You just walk up to them and do a violent execution on them. That's how you eliminate them. I'm excited for it. I'm going to be playing the crap out of that because I'm already playing Gears of War Judgment. I've been no-lifing that since day one. It's awesome. I love it. I'm going to link my review of that game down below. I did a review on it. And... That brings us to the last bit of information I have, which is the next Call of Duty. And the next Call of Duty is not Modern Warfare 4, but in other words, it's Ghosts. Plural. Not Ghosts from MW2, but Ghosts, as in many, I guess. But, and uh, Driftor is where I'm getting my information from. He makes really good videos, he's well known. I'll link him down below, but if he tells me other words that I can't, I can remove the link. But let's get into it. I guess it's, com it's going to be completely different, only for next-gen consoles. When you go prone, you can roll left or right. You can slide and shoot at the same time. And I guess the way you get into the map is that we're going like 10, the whole way down to 1, then you get the walkway. You spawn in through like a tech chopper, slide down a rope, break through glass or something. It's going to be awesome. Watch his video on it. I'll link that below. He talks, he goes into great detail. He has reliable sources, he says. He doesn't know if it's true or not, but he is almost positive that it is. So with that being said, that is gaming news. But in two weeks, I'm going to have a new one. So let's have a contest. What is your favorite game? of this year so far and why. I'll pick the best comment, um, feature it in my next video, and give you 
Microsoft points. 1,600 points as you get to use on the marketplace. And that's about it. This has been Gaming News with Parmesan, Episode 2.